So remember this last May when Kansas City Chief Kicker Harrison Butker uh, made some comments during a commencement speech at Benedictine College just outside of Kansas City in which he encouraged Catholic women in attendance to one day em embrace motherhood and the woke left just couldn't help themselves. They went into a tizzy and they piled on him aggressively trying to get him canceled. Well, all I got to say is, how'd that work out for you? Because yesterday, Monday, August the 5th, Harrison Butker signed a new deal with the Kansas City Chiefs. This, are, this headline here is from Breitbart. Misogynist and bigot wokesters lose their minds after Chiefs announced $25 million deal for Harrison Butker. The Kansas City Chiefs announced Monday that they have signed kicker Harrison Butker to a new $25.6 million contract. While the Chiefs are thrilled to be keeping one of the best kickers in the NFL, the announcement is causing the hate-filled woke left to lose its tiny hive mind once again. Yeah, because they wanted him canceled. They wanted him cut from the team. They wanted him dismissed. They wanted to unperson him. All over a commencement speech. But now, instead of releasing him, the Chiefs are signing him to a big new deal that will assure him of being on the team through 2028. That's right. He got an extension and a big payday. Per Adam Schefter, the Chiefs are signing standout kicker Harrison Butker to a four-year, $25.6 million extension that includes $17.75 million guaranteed per sources. The deal ties Butker to Kansas City through the 2028 season. He negotiated the deal himself. He didn't go through an agent. So, naturally, we can't have Harrison Butker signing a new deal with the Chiefs. That's not fair. The far left had a conniption fit and flooded Schefter's ex post with their usual hatred for Butker and Christians. Many leftists attacked Butker's wife in their spiteful comments about the kicker's new deal, such as Abu Akkad. No idea who this individual is, but he wrote, Good, he's making money so his wife can stay home and cook and take care of the kids like he wants. Okay. Others chimed in, wow, the Chiefs don't respect women. What? After the disgusting, misogynistic things he said, this is unacceptable and the Chiefs should be punished. Tell that to the fans of Kansas City. I thought his wife negotiated the deal. After all, she's the brains of that operation. Wow, the Chiefs rewarding a misogynist and bigot with a fat stack of cash. Only in America, folks. I mean, Butker is one of the best kickers, if not the best kicker in the league. He deserves the extension. He deserves the money that he's being paid. This here on OutKick. At 29 years old, Butker is universally recognized as one of the two best kickers in the NFL, along with Justin Tucker of the Ravens. Butker has played a critical role in the Chiefs' three Super Bowl wins since 2020. Specifically, the Chiefs do not win the past two Super Bowls without Butker's ace kicking in the clutch. Now, I will point this out. NFL analyst Trey Wingo had to put his two cents in. I thought ESPN was getting out of the political statement game or the pulp culture game. Guess not. Things haven't changed over at the mouse house. So what Trey Wingo have to say? Well, Trey Wingo considers Butker's views baggage for the Kansas City Chiefs. 
Wingo took on X Monday after Butker's extension was announced. He made a point about meritocracy in American sports, but could not hide his objections with the kicker's unpopular views. Many called it a shitty take, and outkicks Clay Travis had a similar reaction. Wingo's contentious reaction Monday read, the Harrison Butker extension making him the highest paid kicker underscores the inherent truth of the NFL. The better you are at your job, the more my, the more a team is willing to put up with pure is willing to put up with pure and simple. No. He's one of the best kickers in the league. Clay responded, agreed. Crazy the Chiefs were willing to put up with checks notes. Telling young men and women graduating from college that no matter what career success they may have in life, they are likely to take the greatest joy from their kids. Again, there wasn't anything wrong with what Butker said in his commencement address. At least, not, not in my opinion. If you have a differing opinion, comment in the comment section down below. So there you have it. The woke left outraged at Harrison Butker getting a raise and extension with the Chiefs. So again, I'll leave it up to you. What do you think of this? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. With that, I will talk to you guys later.